Good afternoon. The first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leaders today are Jessica Reid and Callum Doherty, who are pupils at Braes High School, Reading Muirhead in Falkirk. My name is Callum, and this is Jess. We attend Braes High School in Falkirk. In November, we, we participated in the Lessons from Auschwitz project. It was one of the most significant experiences of my life. We, hear, we heard the testimony of Holocaust survivor Eva Clark, who was born against all odds on the steps of Mauthausen concentration camp. It was such a personal story. I learned a great deal from Eva about the impact of the Holocaust on real people, a type of understanding you can't get from a textbook. Our visit began in the town of Oswientium, which had a majority Jewish population before the Holocaust. Christians and Jews lived together in peace. Now not a single Jew lives there. A whole community was destroyed forever. What I saw at Auschwitz will stay with me forever. I saw 2,000 kilograms of human hair taken from victims for use in the manufacture of clothing and bedding. I couldn't believe it. Jews had been persecuted to the point where they weren't even viewed as human. To see the horrors of mankind that mankind is capable of is often incomprehensible but we must always remember what happened in the past so that we can learn from it. We have discussed at length the individuals affected by and the perpetrators of the Holocaust. They were people like us, with families, dreams and worries. So why did this happen? What made people think that this was acceptable? We must learn from history in order to ensure that this never happens again. The importance of fighting prejudice is never more evident than when we look at those who did nothing to speak out. In a world where racism and prejudice is still rising, it is vital to educate others to recognise the consequences of not fighting anti-Semitism, racism and hatred. When I think about Holocaust Memorial Day's theme, how can life go on? I think about my generation. It is we who must tell people what happened 77 years ago. When survivors can no longer tell their stories, it is we who must ensure that they live on. We must spread the message of acceptance of all cultures, religions and races. My generation can defy expectations and improve the world. I am an optimist and I am passionate. I don't want history to repeat itself. I hope that today's MSPs and people across Scotland will join us in remembering the people murdered in Auschwitz. Together, let's ensure that the world never forgets the past and strives for a more positive future. Thank you. <laughs> 